So what's working on social media? That's a question a lot of us have. Hi, I'm Jessica Phillips with Now Marketing Group, and I've brought in 20 social media rock stars to give you their top tips on things you should be doing and things you could stop doing in 2016 in order to be successful. Make sure to watch the video all the way to the end so I can give you a number one tip that can impact your business and how you succeed on social media. Hi, Phil Mershon with Social Media Examiner here. Here's my tips for you for 2016. Start with your why. Why are you on social media in the first place? Because you really need to understand your purpose as you determine which platforms are meaningful to you. And then secondly, know your data and understand what your goals are with social media and then figure out if you're accomplishing them. And don't be afraid to shut down channels that are not getting you the results that you're looking for. What's up everyone, Brian iSocial Fans here. And something I think we have to be doing in 2016 on social media is bridging your audience. And what I mean by that is, we can't expect our audience to come find us on either new channels or things that we're doing. We must go to where they're at, engage and provide value. Something we can't be doing or we shouldn't be doing in social media in 2016 is don't go to other channels and tell people what to do or where to go. Give them the how and why and inspire them to go visit you. 2016 will be the year in which we need to stop relying on organic reach and start focusing on social ads. Organic reach is not dead. However, as more and more companies jump into the social media wagon, it gets harder to reach your target audience. So the way to compensate for this low reach is running effective social ads. What's up guys, it's Chris Strub from teamstrub.com. I'm not used to having 30 whole seconds because Snapchat's 10 seconds at a time. So let's make the most of it. What does a business need to do to succeed on social media in 2016? The short answer is humanize. Don't be afraid to put a face on your brand. Put them on Snapchat, Periscope, Facebook Live, Engage with your audience, ask them questions, listen to what it is they want, they like, they appreciate about your brand, and in return, they will appreciate you. Hi, I'm Donna Gilliland. Video, make it a priority, especially video through live broadcasting technology, such as Periscope, Blab, Facebook Live. Let's talk about that last one, Facebook Live. With any of the live broadcasting technologies, one of your power benefits is that you are in real time with your audience. And at conclusion of that broadcast, you have a video that you can repurpose and embed on your website. So try out live broadcasting as a means to create content. Hi there, it's Jenny Brennan. And my top social media tip is this. I believe that we live in one of the most privileged times to be able to do business. The world is literally our oyster. We can get the attention of as many potential customers as we wish if we do things right. In fact, we have the power to make sure that our brand is in the palm of their hand. However, it's really, really important that we treat each and every one of these relationships with the respect that they deserve. Don't forget that each person that comes into your community has the power and the influence to help other people make a decision about what it is that you sell. I hope that helps. Hey everyone, this is Vivica Von Rosen at LinkedIn Expert. My advice is know your platform. If you're on LinkedIn and you're focused on business to business, this is not appropriate. That's what Facebook is for, guys. So focus your business content. And yes, while the oily hot model on LinkedIn might get a lot of comments, they're probably going to be negative comments, and that's not going to help your brand or your business. Hello, this is Lisa Monks from Chipmunk Media. My social media tip for you is five words. Use video and live streaming you'll get greater reach on Facebook. And with over 8 billion daily video views on Facebook, 10 billion daily video views on Snapchat, and over 1 billion YouTube users, it's simply something you cannot afford not to consider. Use video. Live streaming, Facebook Live, Periscope, use it to reach and engage with your followers in real time. Show them the real, raw, and unedited version of you, your company, or your destination. It's time to get more strategic about the way that you're using Facebook in your business. And that means stop solely relying on organic means for getting your content seen by your ideal customers. And instead start strategically investing in some Facebook advertising that's gonna make sure that the right messages are showing up to the right people at the right time so that you start achieving more success 
for all the time and effort that you're putting into your Facebook marketing. Hello, my super quick tip is know your outcomes. Know exactly why you are on social media and how your activities every day align to that purpose. Then you make the most of it. Cheers. Hi guys, my name is Ravi Shukul, your social media and online customer service expert. And the biggest takeaway in social media in 2016, I feel, is for businesses to have the ability to respond to every customer comment on every social channel. The key here is to make sure no comments go left ignored and to make sure you reply to every customer or at least at the minimum acknowledge that you are looking into their response. Christian Karasevich here from socialchefs.com and I wanted to share with you a quick social media don't for 2016. And that would be, don't forget to test your Facebook Live video before you go live. This way, for example, if you're using any extra equipment or you've never done one before, you can test it out and see how it works. For example, you can go to your Facebook profile, create a Facebook Live video and only share that with one or two other people that you have test. This one's so easy. My best tip for social media in 2016, don't be a guru. Teach people what you know, but don't be a guru. Use Facebook ads. Organic Facebook sucks. Get into the Facebook ad manager and power editor. Boost is for suckers. Bypass fan marketing and go straight for leads and sales. I can't pay off my bar tab with likes. Test more ads, more posts, and more landing pages. My first idea is I'll suck. I once built a helicopter out of a chair. Do something weird. Like this guy. <laughs> Hey guys, Tyler Anderson, founder and CEO of Casual Fridays. So the one thing that I think brands must start doing in 2016, if they haven't done so already on social media, is have an active social customer care program in place. Meaning you need to be responding to all of your customers and potential customers in a very timely manner, ideally within a day. Um, actually, I should say ideally within the hour and at worst within the day. Uh, as far as one thing the brand should stop doing is they should stop creating content, especially promotional content, if they do not have a social ad budget to support it. Um, social media has become a pay to play platform, especially when it comes to promotional content. So wasting all that time and energy on creating content, especially promotional content, if you don't have an ad budget, is just a waste of time and time is money. There you go, thank you. This is the Carlos skill in Snapchat. Major key to Snapchat success is you have to go outside the box and use just a little bit of personality. Hey, Mike Gingrich here, and this is my quick tip that you need for 2016. You've got great content, but what you need to do is ignite your content, all right? Here's a quick example. You need to go to Facebook after you've done your blog post, and you need to create a live video about it and do a little live streaming, answer questions about it, and then direct them over to the content. Got it? Hey there, this is Pam Moore, AKA Pam Marketing Nuts, uh, founder of Marketing Nuts Agency. My words of advice to you on digital and social media are to get out of the house. You see where I'm at? I'm at a networking event this morning, gonna meet the founder of Orlando City Soccer and a bunch of other folks. So if your business isn't doing what you wish that it would be doing, your social isn't performing as you wish it was, get off of the screen. Quit looking at yourself on Snapchat and every other platform. Go look people in the eyes, real eyes, not just digitally, and understand who they are and what they need from you. There's my words of advice to you. Have a fabulous day. My tip is to share less content, but better content with your audience. Avoid contributing to the noise and oversaturation on social media today, and instead reserve your post for the best content you can create. You'll get better value for your audience, you'll get better engagement from them, and you'll get better results for your business. Hi friends, April Woodcock here, wanting to share my favorite social media tip for 2016. So I'm an email girl and I love email and I feel like every year it continues to be a powerful tool for your business. So keep this in mind, the money is in the list. That is my tip for social media 2016. Everywhere you touch your audience, grow your list. Don't be afraid to ask, what's the worst they could say? No. Get those email lists together, friends, and start using it, a great tool for your business to grow your brand awareness, to grow your credibility and your influence. The money is in the list, ka-ching.
My final tip to you for rocking social media in 2016 is to collaborate with others. You don't have to have it all figured out. Find other people that have the same goal as you, where you guys are trying to accomplish the same mission. Bring it together, where you guys can maybe host a tweet chat together, create a video like this, or create a white paper together. Work together to benefit your audience. And remember, the more present you are online, the bigger your presence is perceived. This can work in your advantage and strengthen your relationships, both with the community and with your audience. I wanna hear from you though. What is your top tip for rocking social media in 2016? Share this video and let us know what your tip is. And thanks for watching.